Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to get into the topic, all right, of the keys of the kingdom of heaven, all right, which is ultimately synonymous with the key of David, all right, and we'll show you that, which ultimately the key, all right, is symbolic of authority, all right, which was given to a particular household, which is the tabernacle of David, all right, which ultimately is the government that's going to be established by who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, all right, um, on earth, okay, the tabernacle of David, okay, and it all started ultimately when Yahweh Shai gathered the 12 with Peter being the head of it, okay, and there was something very spiritual that happened here in Matthew, the 16th chapter, okay, that ultimately um, led to Yahweh Shai, all right, telling Peter, okay, that he given unto him the keys of the kingdom of heaven, all right, which is ultimately, as we said, authority. And it all starts with what? The receiving of the Holy Spirit via the Comforter. All right. Now, when Yahweh Shai was on the scene with his disciples, he was the Comforter. Okay. As a matter of fact, okay, let's get that in the book of John, the 14th chapter. As a matter of fact, we'll start up here. All right. At verse 16, the role of the Spirit. Okay. Because with the Holy Spirit, the Heavenly Father, through Yahweh Shai gives men authority and a testimony to teach this word, which is going to lead to a kingdom, all right, where they have even greater authority. And we hope to be of that body. Okay. John 14 and 16, it says, and I will pray. I start at 15. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Okay. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. All right. And that's this knowledge, wisdom and understanding the secrets, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven starts with the knowledge, wisdom and understanding. All right. Given unto men on earth, as it says in the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, they overcame him by the blood of Yahweh Shai. All right. And by the words of their testimony. And they love not their life unto death. So the spirit of truth, all right, is being taught and preached, all right, but the world can't receive it, okay, because it seeth him not, okay, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and it shall be in you, okay? I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you, all right? And he's speaking unto them in a future tense, because... When you go to the book of Acts, all right, the first chapter, real quick, we'll start at verse, let's see here, six, all right, we're here, the disciples were asking, you know, Yahweh Shai, was he getting ready to set up the kingdom of heaven at that point, all right, which they didn't understand that more had to happen, all right, Rome was going to fall and eventually be raised up again. All right. And eventually Babylon the Great had to be raised up. OK. And that's the time period where the kingdom of heaven would come. And we're in that time now. So Acts one and six, he says, when therefore they will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? All right. Are you going to bring us the kingdom? OK. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father hath put in his own power. All right. But ye shall receive power. OK. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. OK. See, you shall receive power. OK. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, as they went and preached, you know, amongst the circumcision. All right. Even in Acts, the second chapter, you saw that. OK. They preached amongst the circumcision, the Jews. All right. And in Samaria. All right. And then they eventually went out. All right. Amongst these various different regions. All right. Where these Israelites foreigners were scattered. All right. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. All right. Which ultimately is over here. All right. In the Americas. 
all right, where prophets will be raised up according to Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, all right? So it's all what via the Holy Spirit, all right, that these men would be teaching and they would be teaching, all right, in the uttermost parts of the earth, all right, because according to curses, we would be scattered, all right, throughout the uttermost corners of the earth, all right? And prophets have been raised up here in these latter days via the Holy Spirit, all right, which is a part, all right, of what we're getting into in Matthew, the 16th chapter. Now, let's go back here to um, John, the 14th chapter, okay, in the 19th verse. All right, let's read 18 again. I will not leave you comfortless. Now, when he was on the earth, he was the comforter, all right, but as he's in the uh, spiritual realm, all right, on the right-hand side, okay, he's sending down the Holy Spirit, okay, and he's with us. OK, he's literally with us right now, walking with us. But you have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to believe it. OK, this is a thing of faith, not sight. It says yet a little while and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me because I live. All right. Ye shall also live. OK, so as you keep going. It says at that day, ye shall know that I am in my father and ye in me and I in you. OK, and in the book of Acts, all right, there was uh, the Holy Spirit was given, you know, great things happen. OK, and there was prophesied in the latter days. OK, it would happen all over again. All right. The Heavenly Father will raise us up from a dead state via the Holy Spirit. All right. And great works will be worked. And that's happening because the Holy Spirit is a form of spiritual power. OK, it says. Let's go down. Let's just hit to the point. Verse 25, it says, These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things into your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay, we would get the understanding. All right, in a land of our captivities. Okay. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Okay, so the Lord hasn't given us an abundance in this world in the form of carnal things, but he has blessed us with many things in a spiritual sense, okay, which is a part of the authority that come with what? The keys of the kingdom of heaven which is what wisdom and understanding all right which will lead to even greater authority all right once we get transferred into the new covenant okay fully all right by receiving those new bodies and we're at one with our power through Yahweh Shai all right with new bodies okay new Jerusalem now this is the book of wisdom of Solomon the sixth chapter okay let's see here and I'll start at uh, 20. It says, therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. See that? Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. All right. That's why the Apostle Recall always talks about how this wisdom is the kingdom of heaven. OK. And as a matter of fact, which that's in Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's why they were preaching. All right. The kingdom of heaven is here and that's in Yahweh Shai. Okay, who was the beginning of wisdom? All right. This is uh first Corinthians one and thirty, but of him are ye in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who of God is made unto us wisdom and and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. You see that? The desire of wisdom brings a kingdom. Okay? This is Ephesians one and seventeen. That the God of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, all right, in the knowledge of him. See that? So the Lord has made manifest wisdom in the form of his only begotten son, who he sent in the flesh, all right? And now that he's returned to the right-hand side, all right, we're partaking of that wisdom via what? The Rahakwadash, Holy Spirit. OK, which is going to lead to the victory. Remember the testimony. 
all right, under the blood of Yahweh Shai is the victory, all right, which gives us a mindset to love not our lives unto death, all right, meaning we're putting off this world for the greater, okay, and that's all fulfilled in what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You see, once you learn, okay, the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay, it changes your mind, the renewing of your mind to where this world, all right, is an afterthought to you. Now, we live our lives. We do what we have to do, okay? Uh, we use this world as not abuse it. We, we, we pay our bills. We have jobs. We go to work. We don't walk out into this world wilding out, okay, uh, trying to take our own vengeance, all right? But we have comfort. OK, and knowing that this is not the end all be all. This isn't even our original birth. OK, our original birth goes back. All right. Ultimately uh, to what being ultimately the first fruit spirits under Yahweh Shai. If we are those men. OK, it says uh, Colossians 1 and 28, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. All right. That we may present every man perfect. All right, in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and that every man is every man that's of the elect, okay, which eventually will trickle down, all right, to the rest of the men, women, and children whom are going to be delivered, okay? So going back to Wisdom of Solomon, all right, uh, 6 and 20, it says, Therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth the kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones... And scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Now, what are the thrones that the Heavenly Father, all right, through his only begotten Son, are going to establish? Let's get that in the book of Psalms 122. Okay. Psalms 122. And I'll just get to the point in five. For there be set, for there are set thrones of judgment. All right. The thrones of the house of David. All right. That's the government that's going to be set up. All right. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. OK. And if you love him, you love wisdom. And if you love wisdom, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. So it changes your outlook. It changes your behavior. You become what? A new man. And that's going to lead to the kingdom of heaven being established on the planet Earth. So if you delight, all right, uh, uh, if your delight be then in thrones, if you delight to rule, all right, we always talk about how we're going to rule, all right, how we're going to have, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, subjects, how we're going to manage the whole entire planet Earth under Yahweh Shai in righteousness, all right. Well, to get that, all right, there's a there's a walk we have to walk under this grace period, all right, that will lead to that kingdom. OK, it says, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, OK, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. OK, as for wisdom, what she is, OK, wisdom can take the form of a, 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 a woman, OK, because it is a nurture. It's our alma mater, all nourishing mother. Again, it could be likened to a man. It could be likened to a brother. It could be likened to a sister. It could be likened to water. It could be likened unto many things, okay? Um, a wife, see? It says, um, as for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you, and I will not hide mysteries from you, all right? And the mysteries are revealed, all right, unto those who have what? The new song. As a matter of fact, when you get Revelation, the 14th chapter, okay, it tells you, okay, Revelation 14 and 1, and I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, okay, which is where the temple stood, but now we're what? A spiritual temple. See? New Jerusalem, it says, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So these men have been sealed with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's going to lead to the kingdom. And some of these very men, again, are here on the planet Earth. OK, and those who are in the spiritual realm, again, when you go into this chapter, just to hit to the point. Let's see here. 
This is Revelation chapter 14. All right, and let's get it. Let's start at 12. Here is the patient of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Okay, so the fact that a particular member of that number or a particular member of the elect period, all right, may be in the spiritual realm. Again, when Yahweh Shai returns, all will be gathered in one. Okay, so if you're looking to see in specific 144,000, all right, then you're going to bug yourself out and you're going to lose the faith. All right, that's why the Lord didn't want this thing to be based on what you saw, but based upon what? The power of it. Okay, their works do follow them. Again, real quick, 1 Corinthians, the uh, 15th chapter, when Yahweh Shai returns, okay, 1 Corinthians 15, and we'll start at around um, 20. Well, I'll start at, uh, just to get to the point, 22, it says, for as in Adam all die, Okay, we all fell from that fall, even so in Hamashiach Yahawashai, all right, shall all be made alive, all right? But every man in his own order, all right, Hamashiach, the first fruits which are one body, all right, that's Yahawashai in 144, as we'll show you. Afterward, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming, okay? And one more scripture, okay, um... Let's get the book of, uh, I know it's in the book of Ephesians, the uh, first chapter, maybe one in 10. Let's get that real quick. Yep. Let's start at nine. All right. And this is a part of the wisdom. All right. The mysteries as brothers start with our apostles and elders and the men that labor before them are teaching. All right. In these videos, also the men. All right. Who are scattered. All right, here in Babylon and in various parts of the world right now teaching. All right, the right doctrine. They're teaching you what? The, the, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All right, that is their form of what? Having a portion of that key. Okay? And we'll get into all of that in just a minute. It says, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath pur purposed in himself, then in the dispensation of of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Hamashiach which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him so all will be gathered together all right in whom we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will okay so again going back here in Revelation the 14 chapter okay these 144,000 all right what do they have? Okay, as you jump down to verse 3, okay, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders and no man could learn that song save the 140 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth because this song that we're singing comes from the heavens. Okay, this song is sent directly from the throne of the most high all right, on the right hand side. OK, that's why it's 100 percent. It has nothing to do with us in the flesh. All right. Remember, as it says in Second uh, Corinthians four, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the glory can, should be of the father and his son and not of us. All right. It says these are they which were not defiled with women. All right. And when you go into the volume of the book, the women represent other philosophies, as it says in Proverbs, the strange woman. All right. Meaning they're not going to bow the knee. OK. Now, even though in this walk for a time, all right, because we had to be Gentiles, according to prophecy, we had to come out of darkness, but ultimately our souls are always predestined to get the victory, all right? And this world would not consume us and overcome us. We would eventually wake up, it says, for they are virgins, okay? And this is not talking about a literal virgin, all right? This goes into what Paul talks about in 2 Corinthians 11. All right. I've espoused you to one husband, meaning you belong. All right. To the most high Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. 
okay? And when we are presented, all right, we will be presented as a chaste virgin, okay? It says, meaning no other, we don't belong to these other gods and idols. See, the two-thirds, they're like it unto whores, all right? They have committed, all right, whoredom, and they haven't woken up. They haven't come back. Okay, to their husband, their maker. All right, it says, These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever you go, at the lamb being Yahweh Shai. These were redeemed from among men, okay, chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right, even in this time, we were redeemed from amongst this world, separated, chosen for a very, very important office and purpose, okay, which is going to be uh, used to usher in the kingdom of heaven, being the first fruits unto God and to the lamb. And in their mouth was found no gal, for they are without fault before the throne of God. You see, and that wisdom that they have as they're teaching, okay, as you, you go through this chapter, we ain't got to go through it all, all right, which the teaching of the mark of the beast is a part of that wisdom. They would be teaching about the MOTB as you read in this chapter, doom for the worshipers of the beast. That's a part of the new song that's being sung. So if your teacher isn't uh, constantly talking about the mark of the beast, you may want to uh, think twice, okay? That should be a constant talking point because it's a part of the new song. But as that new song is being sung, what does it lead to, okay? It leads to destruction coming, and then in the very next chapter, okay, we, we, we get beamed up, okay? A scene from heaven as we're beamed up. What do you see? Revelation 15 and 2, And I saw as it were a, a, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. All right, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, O thou King of the saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? All right, for thou art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. All right, so the new song leads to the kingdom, again, fulfilling what we just read here, okay, and Wisdom of Solomon, the sixth chapter, okay, and the 20th verse. The desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. You see that? If you delight to be then in thrones, if you delight to rule, all right, O ye kings, therefore, what? Honor wisdom, all right? And that's all fulfilled in Yahweh Shai. So going back here to Matthew, the 16th chapter, let's lead into this conversation because it starts here, okay, in Matthew 16 and 13, okay? It says, when Yahweh came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? Okay? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, Okay, who had been slew and put to death. All right. Some say Elijah. All right. Others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets, because it's well known that prophets will be raised up. That is a that is a common talking point amongst the household of faith. Okay, to know and understand that great men will be raised up. So this isn't a bugged out concept. All right, to say this man could be that man or this man could be this man. Okay, in the spirit. Okay. Especially when an abundance of spiritual things are happening surrounding the nation of Israel, we should know that great men of old are going to be raised up. OK, as a matter of fact, let's get this here in the book of Sirach, the 36th chapter and the 14th verse. OK, so I mean, as you see here, if Yahweh Shai, all right, wanted us to know and understand that this was a wicked all right, mindset that others were saying. All right. He's asking who who or people saying he is, then he would have let us know. All right. This isn't going into endless genealogies. This is receiving things and believing things in spirit. All right. Going into endless genealogies is dealing with men who were coming amongst the church, men who could prove their registry, who could prove their lineage goes back to a particular tribe, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. In particular, it was those of the Levites. All right. For purpose of having uh, um authority in the churches okay so they were going amongst these particular churches where the israelite foreigners were being raised up okay 
and they would use their genealogy record to either boast over those who couldn't prove by genealogy that they were Israelites or to either uh, uh, use it for them to have authority and say that men should be in subject to them because there's particular laws dealing with, you know, priest or particular uh, lots in the priesthood where you would have to um, be in a author under authority of men when you go into our law. So when you go into endless genealogies, that was dealing with men who were coming amongst the churches boasting in their genealogy. My father goes back to this uh, lineage. We're not doing that when we say this particular man is Elijah or this particular man is him or this particular man. We're not going into his genealogical record to prove it. We're, we're simply saying it through the Holy Spirit. All right. So. That's not the proper breakdown of endless genealogies and you, you should correct it. It's nothing wrong with being wrong. All right. As, as Donnie McClurkin says or whatever his name is, we fall down. <laughs> a saint is just a sinner who fell down. So you should correct that breakdown because endless genealogy has nothing with saying a particular man, all right, could be an ancient prophet raised up, all right? Um, again, this is Sirach 36 and 14. Fill sign with thine unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. See that? Raise up prophets that have what have been possessed from the beginning. All right. Raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Give testimony unto those. And we know, according to Revelation, the 12th chapter, the testimony is a part of the victory under the blood of Yahweh Shai. OK, it's a part of that authority. OK, so going back here to Matthew, the uh, 16th chapter. OK, Yahweh Shai asked his men whom. Are men saying I am because this is a common talking point amongst the nation of Israel, not a bugged out concept. OK, and it has nothing to do with endless genealogies. That is the wrong application of that breakdown. So some said he was Elijah. Some were saying he was Jeremiah. These are talking points. These are things that were being said. All right. As he was on the earth. All right. But he said here in verse 15, and he said unto them. He's speaking to his 12 disciples, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, all right, thou art the Messiah, the son of the living God. OK, the anointed one. He understood that this was the son of the most high on earth and flesh as it was prophesied he would come. OK, he understood because you remember what uh, was said to um, David by Nathan, the prophet. OK, that the son of the most high would come through the loins and lineage of David. Okay. So Peter put all of that together. Okay. And verse 17, and Yahweh shall answered and said unto him, blessed art thou Simon. All right. Bar Jonah, which is ultimately son of John. All right. Or Ban Yachanan for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my father, which is in heaven. Okay. And I say unto thee, thou art Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock will I build my church. And the church is ultimately the tabernacle of David. OK, the government. All right. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. All right. The wicked elite, no matter what they do. All right. They're going to lose. OK. And remember, David. OK, fought uh, Goliath and it looked impossible. We're, we'll liken unto that. All right. As we've been given this treasure in these latter days in earthen vessels. All right. Now it says here in Matthew 16 and 19, and I will give unto thee. All right. It all starts with this figure, the head of the church, Peter. Okay. Which ultimately in spirit, that is David. Okay. In his position as what the head of the tabernacle. Okay. I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou uh, shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And we'll get into that. But let's first get the understanding of this word keys. OK, the understanding of the word keys. Strong's G 2807. Kleis. Kleis. OK, a key. All right. And you can't look at this as a literal key. 
okay, that's hanging off of your chi- your, your keychain, <laughs> okay? It says, since the keeper of the keys has power to open and shut, all right? Now, who is ultimately the keeper of the keys? Let's get this in the book of uh, Revelation, all right, chapter 3 and 7, all right? And the angel of the church of Philadelphia write these things, he that is holy, he that is true, and he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shut it, and shut it and no man open it. And who was given that authority? That's Yahweh Shai. As a matter of fact, let's read this in the uh, NLT. Okay, it says, Write this letter to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. This is the message from the one who was holy and true, the one who has the key of David. That's Yahweh Shai. What he opens, no one can close. And what he closes, no one can open. And ultimately, that's filled in what? Authority. And who gave him that authority? The Most High God, Yahweh. All right. Yahweh Shai is sharing in that authority. All right. With a particular house, which starts with Peter. Okay. Which is David. Okay. Again, the key of David, the authority of David. All right. Who gave Solomon ultimately the blueprint to build the temple. All right. Which was eventually sacked. All right. Now we're building a spiritual temple. OK, so when you go back to this word, Kleist, it says metaphorically in the New Testament to denote power and authority of various kinds. See, it's various kinds of power and authority. Mark the 13th chapter and the 34th verse. All right. Real quick, it says for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey. All right. And in spirit, that journey is ultimately he's on the right hand side. All right. And he has left particular men in charge of his business. OK, he has given them authority. All right. It says who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man, his work and commanded the porter to watch. And that's ultimately what we're doing. OK, watch ye therefore, for, you know, not when the master of the house cometh. At evening or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning, lest coming, lest coming, suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, all right, I say unto all, watch, okay, meaning be in the spirit, be alert, be circumspect. Now, this word authority that he's given unto those servants, okay, all right. Let's see here. Strong's G, 1849, Exousia, Exousia. All right, Exousia. Okay, look, jurisdiction, strength. Okay, power of choice, liberty of doing as one pleases, leave or permission, physical or mental power. Okay, uh, the ability of strength, which one is endued which he is either possesses or exercises. And we have that in the form of this gospel. Okay. We're, we're going out to the highways and the byways. We're doing these videos. All right. The heavenly fathers has entrusted us. He's given us a portion of that authority. Okay. So in a sense, he's given us of the keys. Okay. Now you have men crying because the apostle Tahar said, we have a copy of the key. All right. And people are thinking of it in a sense of janitor keys. But let's look up the word copy real quick. OK, you got to look up words, man. Copy. OK, uh, it says written account or record. OK, directly from the medieval Latin copia reproduction transcript. All right. And abundance, ample supply. <laughs> All right. Don't we have that through the Holy Spirit? We have an abundance all right, of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding for the perfecting of the saints, as we'll show you in the book of Ephesians. All right, profusion, plenty. That's what copy means. You thinking of a literal key, all right, you got to go to Walmart to get a copy. No, okay? It says assimilated uh, form of calm with, all right, ops or opus, power, with power, with power. See? Wealth, okay, resources. Don't we? We have resources to get the job done, okay. 
and it's all fulfilled in a form of authority, which that authority ultimately in the kingdom of heaven is going to be even bigger as we're governing the whole entire planet Earth. All right. But he's given us this word. All right. To go out and preach. And we're preaching with authority. All right. We're telling uh, the, the, the heathen was getting ready to happen unto them. We're telling uh, the elect to repent. We're telling all Israel to repent, but only the elect are going to hear. OK, that's through authority given unto particular men who will preach on earth. OK, and Israel will be led to repent, as it says in the book of Psalms 40 and three. He have put a new song in my mouth and many, OK, shall see it in fear and trust in the Lord. OK, and that's what was happening as Peter and the disciples went out and preached. OK, eventually Paul. As they went to these various different regions. Okay. It says, um, yeah, power, wealth, resources to work, produce in abundance. That's what copy means. Okay. Let's see here. Especially MS given to the printer to be reproduced in type, meaning a duplication. And we're duplicating, all right, and imitating Yahweh Shai. We're reproducing. Yahweh Shai through our works, which is planting seeds, all right, that are sprouting up, all right, and we, we hope that our fruit remain, okay, as, as, as the scriptures say, you know a tree by its fruits, okay, so when you look at a tree and the fruit that comes off of it, it, it it's, it's, if it's an olive tree, olives, uh, if it's an apple tree, apples, they're a copy of what was planted ultimately the seed that was planted okay <laughs> let's see here a set of reproductions containing the same matter and there's various precepts that can go into these things but i'm just reading them um let's see here to transcribe okay to write in plenty all right now in the hebrew real quick the word copy is ma shana, okay? Uh, fatlings, you know, copy, second order, all right? Now, under Yahweh Shai, all right, the order goes through what? Peter, David, okay? Second in rank, okay? Remember, he's king of kings, so there's kings under him, all right, that have a rank, Okay, repetition. All right, we're, 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 we're repetitiously repeating this word through what? The authority given unto us through the Holy Spirit. Now, let's show you that in the scriptures. This is Ephesians 4 and 7. But unto every one of us is giving grace according to the gift of the measure, all right, of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. We each have our measure. Okay, that's your gift. As it says in the book of Proverbs 18, a man's gift making room for him. All right, so we do have a copy of the key through the Holy Spirit. Now, it's not like a key you go and get made. No, it's all through the Holy Spirit, your measure. All right, which make it room for you. Let's get that. Proverbs 18. Okay. Because men will pretty much, they're, they're, they sit back and they find things to nitpick about. They find things to argue about and get mad about. <laughs> okay? But at the end of the day, this is uh, Proverbs 18 and 16. A man's gift make it room for him and bringeth him before great men. Okay? So your gift is, is like an, an to your, your, what? Your key. All right? But it starts with what? Who? Peter. Which ultimately, that's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Which is going to lead to even greater authority in the kingdom of heaven where our word is going to be final. Okay? So, Ephesians 4 and 7, but unto every one of us is giving grace according to the gift of the measure of Hamashiach. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. He conquered death and gave gifts unto men. Showing you he's the high priest who dealt with the gifts and ultimately he sent down the Holy Spirit. And see, the captivity that we're in, okay, is led captive. This flesh, ultimately, we have a chance to be upgraded into the new covenant. 
all right, which the beginning of that is ultimately us receiving, all right, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, a form of spiritual power, but it only, it, 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 it's a culmination that's going to lead, all right, to us giving that full, ultimately new body when we see Yahweh Shai face to face and the law, statutes, and commandments are written in us, and we won't have to teach any other Israelites. The Holy Spirit was given unto us so that we can teach Israel, but in a new covenant, when we're fully in it, we won't have to teach anybody of the nation of Israel. We'll teach the heathen. Okay? So the very fact we're still teaching shows we're not fully in a new covenant. Okay? But we've been given the tools. We have access back through the Holy Spirit. Now it says, now he that ascended, all right, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? Let's get this speaking of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Notice it says he ascended. This clearly means that Hamashiach also descended, all right, to our lowly world, all right, because he had to come in the flesh through the loins and lineages of David, all right, to ultimately conquer death and be a sacrifice unto us to bring us back to the Father, starting with the elect, all right, that he might feel all things, man, okay? It says, now here's the point. Verse 10, it says, he that descended is also the same that ascended up far above all heavens that he might feel all things. Let's get that in the NLT. All right. And the same one who descended, who came down. All right. Is the one who ascended higher than all the heavens so that he might fill the entire universe with himself. OK. And ultimately that he might fill the elect. All right. With the, the Holy Spirit. All right. To do what? preached his word and here's the point and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers okay each man has his gift according to the measure okay for the perfecting of the saints for the body for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai all right so he, he, he set up teachers on the planet Earth, which is likened to a spiritual priesthood, all right, to perfect the saints and, and, and for the ministry and to edify the body, the elect, who would hear the new song and dance to the tune. OK, so each man is given a form of authority, pretty much, all right, are entrusted with this truth to go out and bear fruit so that others can come into and replicate all right, as we're replicating Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit, replicating the men, okay, before us, okay, built upon the what? The foundation of the apostles and prophets, okay, we then, all right, bear fruit, all right, and we want our fruit to remain. That was the order, all right? Let's get that in the book of John 15 and 16. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Okay, so there's two words we want to look up here. Chosen. Okay. The word chosen in the Greek. Strong's G, 1586. Eklegomai. Eklegomai. Thayer's lexicon. Eklego. Eklego. Okay, to pick out, to choose. Okay, and he's choosed us, as you can see here. All right choose us for an office okay so we all have been given a form of authority as we've been given his word and it's likened to what a copy of the key all right with power okay it says c as you can see here of god choosing whom he judged fit to receive his favor and separated from the rest of mankind all right to be peculiarly his own and to be attended to continually by his gracious oversight OK, and it starts with the Holy Spirit, i.e. the Israelites, <laughs> the chosen ones. OK. Um, the God, the father choosing the followers of Yahweh Shai, OK, as those whom he set apart from the irreligious multitude as dear unto himself. And he does that through this wisdom. OK, which that's going to lead into a kingdom. We'll get that in just a minute. But let's go back here to the word ordained okay ordained the word ordained in the greek strong's g 5087 tithemi tithemi 
okay to be set to be uh to put to place okay to to lay down okay to fix or to establish to ordain okay to appoint okay so to appoint someone is you're you're giving them authority all right in the tabernacle of david which is ultimately the 144,000 are the ones who have been what ordained to sing the new song as it says in a book a revelation of 14 chapter no man could learn that song all right but those who were given the song the 144,000 all right and there's also those who would hear that song all right and dance to that tune okay and that's uh ultimately the church as Yahweh Shai says in the book of uh John the 17th chapter and around the 20th verse all right I pray not only for these who I've given this word and sent and ordained through you, but also those who should hear their word, okay, and be converted, all right, uh, back through repentance, okay? So let's go back here, John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth, all right, and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, all right? Those are copies, okay? <laughs> but it's all one spirit all right as a matter of fact let's get the book of uh first corinthians uh 12 and 4 it says now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit see that diversity of gifts all right and the ki the gift is ultimately a portion of the key i mean i don't understand what was so big of a deal about that but then again jake is looking for something to argue about all right they're just mad okay and that's that's all right that's the spirit of saul okay They're just showing up on your comment board with javelins <laughs> all right and, and what they need to do is drink some water stretch and calm the f down all right but it is what it is all right we're just doing this for the point of edification um for the body okay uh verse 8 first corinthians 12 and 8 4 to 1 is given the spirit uh, of the word of wisdom to another, the spirit by the same spirit. So it's all the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit. You got brothers who are, uh, uh, who, who are very, very rich in faith and they push faith. All right. Amongst the camps, that's their talking point. Faith, faith, faith. That's needed amongst the body. You have some brothers who can go into history, prophecy. You have some brothers who are very good with helping brothers in daily affairs with mindset. All right. But it's all of the same spirit. Uh, the, the others with the working of miracles. You have brothers who make oils and who've healed brothers with those oils by anointing. Okay? Discerning of spirits. You have those who are discerning of spirits. You got brothers in the camp that know when somebody ain't right. And you may not agree with them, but at the end, when it's all said and done, that brother was right. Okay? To a brother, another diversity of tongues, the interpretation of tongues. You got brothers who know different languages. Okay? Verse 11 says, but all these work it that one and the se uh, self same spirit dividing to every man. All right. Uh, severally as he will see dividing to every man as he will. OK, so again. All right. Let's, let's read this again. John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go f and bring forth fruit. All right. And that your fruit should remain that whatsoever you shall ask in the, of the father in my name, he may give it to you. And you have to utilize prayer. These things I command you that ye love one another. And that's the body. OK. And again. All right. Going back here uh, to where we were in Ephesians. OK. There's uh, gifts given unto all men. All right. Who have the new song. All right. For what? The perfecting of the saints. All right. And that's a that's your portion of the key. But it all starts with the head. It's an order to things. Again, first Corinthians 15, every man in his own order. Here. And let's read this again and then we'll go back to the point. OK, this is uh, Mark 13 and 34 for the son of man. All right. Is as a man taking a far journey who left his house. OK. When he ascended back on high and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work 
and commanded the porter to watch. Okay? <laughs> commanded the porter to watch. Okay, now let's look up this word porter real quick. Okay. Thoros. Or Thu. Strong's G 2377. Thoros. Thoros. A doorkeeper, a porter, or a male, all right, or female janitor. Okay, which, which what do they have? The keys to the building. Okay, so ultimately, we're all like an unto porters, all right, but there's an order to that, and it starts, all right, with King David himself, Peter, okay, and that authority is, is, is given ultimately now through the word, but it's going to what? Ultimately fulfill itself in ultimate authority of the whole entire planet Earth, all right, of things in heaven and on Earth, all right? So he gave authority unto his servants and every man his work and he commanded the porter to watch. Okay, let's look up this word authority again. Okay. Exousia, exercising authority. Okay, we were already read. Let's get this. Uh, the power of authority, influence. All right, and we're influencing our people to repent. Okay, with the authority we have in these uh, latter days. And in the kingdom of heaven, that's going to uh, fulfill itself and culminate to what? Us governing the whole world. Govern, control, mint, all right, uh, uh, minds, all right? All of the heathen will be taught, all right, the law, statutes, commandments, and to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and bow the knee. We're going to be at the forefront under Yahweh Shai of that influence if we're of that number. All right, but who's going to be the, 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 the first king under Yahweh Shai is David. Okay. The tabernacle of David, it says the power of rule or government power of him whose will and commands must be sub submitted. All right. To by others and obeyed. And it starts with this word. There's particular men set up. Okay. Who, who, who have authority as the scriptures say, they watch over your souls, but then you have other men pushing. All right. A spirit of, of disobedience. You have other men pushing a spirit of disrespect to the elders. OK, you hear this term old nigga, you old niggas. That's that's a common talking point in Israel now. OK, when in our law, let's get that real quick. OK, we're commanded. Leviticus 19 and 32. Thou shall uh, rise up before the hoary head and honor the face of the old man and fear thy God. All right. For I am the Lord. Yahweh. OK. In the NLT. Stand up in the presence of the elderly and show respect for the aged. Fear your God, for I am the Lord. All right. The, 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 the aged ultimately are the ones who came before you and they have experience. And if it wasn't for them. All right. You wouldn't have. All right. The particular platform you have. OK, so it, it was, it's a it's a law for us to respect our elders. Now, if you disagree with particular things, there's a way to disagree. But you have this disobedient uh, uh, uh childish uh spoiled baby spoiled brat mentality in israel and they're pushing it as a way to be that's not how we're supposed to be okay because they labored all right ultimately for us to have the platform we have all right even all right when you go back to the uh time yahweh shai came on the scene before he came on the scene there was a group of men who ultimately the Lord set up as a remnant to keep and stick to the traditions. Now, they had particular uh, uh, things off about them, and the Lord gathered, you know, uh, uh, some of them even unto himself as he went out preaching, starting with Peter. He was of the circumcision, all right? But we can't just throw out, all right, uh, uh, the history that ultimately was very important, all right, to us having... All right, a remnant at the time that Yahweh Shai came on the scene to gather from. Okay, we can't throw away. Yeah, the temple was corrupted. All right, but the truth came from it. Okay, one West was corrupted. All right, but truth the truth came from it. Okay, and we appreciate it all. It's a part of our history. You see? Call hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's see if we can get a precept to this. 
Let's see here. Proverbs 16 and 31, the hoary head is a crown of glory if it be found in a way of righteousness. You see, and these men have labored and still laboring. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay, so we can't have this 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 uh, uh, mindset, all right, that there, there weren't those who came before us, all right, that are a big part of why we have what we have today. Okay, we, we can't have that mindset. The scriptures talks about how there's a generation that are disobedient to their parents. Now you have your, your, your earthly parents, then you have your spiritual parents who watch over your soul. As the scriptures say, obey them that rule over you. The Lord has given particular men authority. Okay? And a nigga thinks that that's, all right, uh, being weak. Okay? But that's all right. All right? Because we'll see what the Lord does anyway. All right? So power of authority, influence, and right of privilege. A pow uh, the power of rule or government to the power of him whose will and commands must be submitted, submitted to all right, by others and obeyed, all right? Authority, jurisdiction, all right, and so forth, all right? The, the sign of regal authority, a crown, which ultimately is going to come if we are of that number, if we stay faithful, all right? And we hope to, all right? And who's going to crown us? Yahweh Shai. So that authority, okay, is ultimately, start. it starts with the word, Okay? Let's go back here. And I give unto you the keys of heaven. All right. It says, since the keeper of, of, of the keys has the power to open and to shut metaphorically in the New Testament to denote power and authority of various kinds. OK, so it starts with the receiving of the word. But let's see what it's fulfilled in. All right. Let's get this in the book of. Uh, let's see here. Yep, this is the book of Luke 22 and 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. Okay. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father have appointed unto me. That's that authority. Okay. That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel, setting everything in order. All right. And that table. All right. As we always go into. All right, trapeza. All right, we'll just get to the point. The table at the temple in Jerusalem. All right, and ultimately the uh, priesthood took in all of the you know the the tides. They were like unto the bankers of our nation. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, all right, under Yahweh Shai, that authority is going to be given to the tabernacle of David. Okay. Which when you go to Revelation 21 again, that's fulfilled, all right, in the 12 disciples, the rest of the 144,000. It says, the table stand of a money changer where he sits exchanging different kinds of money for a fee. As the scriptures say, we will lend to the heathen and we won't have to uh, uh, get loans. Okay, and paying it back with interest or deposits because in the law. You can apply usury to the heathen, all right? But we're not going to do it like Esau does it, all right? But we will have that authority. So the authority starts with the receiving of the understanding, all right, which is going to lead unto a kingdom, all right, under Yahweh Shai, which is rulership of the whole entire planet Earth and rulership, okay, and dominion and judgment where your word is final, Okay? That's the that's the key of David. All right. Your word being final, just as Yahweh Shai has power to open and shut, you will have power to open and shut. All right. Let's read this again. Matthew 16 and 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. OK. And whatsoever thou shalt bind in earth shall be bound in heaven, meaning your word is going to be final. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Okay, just as Yahweh Shai has power and dominion in heaven, all right, and he's going to have it on earth, he's going to share that, all right, with his people, starting with the particular order, man. 
Okay. Let's see. Let's get um the book of Revelation one. Okay, in eighteen it says, "I am He that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, as He conquered death, a man, and have the keys of hell and death." All right. Also, you will have all right authority over judgment. You'll have authority to 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 uh, ultimately execute <laughs> judgment, vengeance. All of that comes with that authority under Yahweh Shai. We'll be able to uh, put hell on people as you uh, read in the book of Zechariah, the 14th chapter. OK, if particular uh, nations don't feel like they want to come up to the Feast of Tabernacles. All right. You can put plagues on that nation. That's in the scriptures. As a matter of fact, let's get that. OK, it talks about how we're going to have power to bring plagues on the earth as often as we will. That's the kind of power. All right, that that that's coming. Okay, but it started with us receiving this word through the Holy Spirit, man. All right, and as we have received this word, healings have happened. All right, but it's only going to manifest itself in a more powerful sense very very soon, man. Okay, this is the book of Zechariah 14. All right. In 16, and it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from one year to worship the king. See, we're going to teach these keep these heathen. All right. The uh, the, the the law, statutes and commandments, the Lord of hosts. OK, they're going to worship the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. OK. And we just got out of the Feast of Tabernacles, which ultimately you would go into the wilderness Okay, and be in a tent, you know, and so forth, um, which ultimately represents being covered by the Most High, man. It says, and it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. So you'll have power to put plagues, okay, on particular nations, okay? And if the family of Egypt go not up, that have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and all the punishment of all the nations that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. So we will have power and authority to execute judgment. All right. And it starts now because as we're prophesying, plagues are being spoken onto the planet Earth. Again, the Holy Spirit is a form of spiritual power which is going to lead to pretty much even more power and authority, all right, as we get closer and closer, and then the kingdom. As a matter of fact, an example of this, let's get Revelation 11 and 4. It said, these are the two olive trees, all right, Judah and Ephraim, okay, the northern and southern kingdom, the tabernacle of David, because remember, the tabernacle of David is all 12 tribes being brought back together. That is the last time we had a government, all right, under King David's throne, who was forwarded for 40 years by Solomon. After Solomon's sin, we all split. We've been separated, going through various different captivities since. And you can read that in Daniel, the seventh chapter. It gives you those various different captivities. And we're in the final captivity, which is the revival of Rome. OK, and the Lord is, 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 has raised up prophets. So now, as you see here, uh, Revelation 11, 4, these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks. All right. The light, the two lights. All right. The elect Judah and Ephraim. All right. The 12 tribes of Israel standing before God. All right. Before the God of the earth. OK. His representatives through Yahweh Shai. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth. OK. And devour their enemies. And that starts with this word is not this word like fire. OK. And this people would. That's in the scriptures. However, that's going to manifest itself. All right. In a, in a, in a actual sense. All right. That's the type of power that's coming. And if you don't believe it. All right. Then you need to call on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to strengthen your faith. All right. Because Esau has pretty much. All right. So uh, put uh, doubt. OK. In a higher power and in spiritual power in your mind. OK. But then look at what he's talking about doing through his technology. OK, if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth and devour their enemies. And if any man will uh, 
hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Okay, so serious power is coming with the men of the Lord. And see, just imagine when this type of stuff is happening, okay, our people are going to be willing. <laughs> the women are going to be willing. This is going to be hell on earth, okay? These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, okay? And have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to smite the earth with plagues as often as they will. All right, so here it is. Jake is scared that Esau, okay, is going to take away water, food. All right, the Lord is going to give the men of the Lord power on a whole nother level, and you have to believe. Okay, you have to believe, all right? And we know Revelation goes in and out of time periods, okay? But this is ultimately the kind of power that comes with, all right, uh, uh, wisdom, okay? Now, let's go to the book of uh, Daniel, the seventh chapter, because ultimately, this is ultimately what we're looking for, all right? As we're preaching this word, all right, this is ultimately what it's going to lead to, okay? Daniel 7 and 26 all right but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion whose dominion esau's dominion esau's the end of the world this whole chapter is giving you an outline of the various captivities we will uh, be in until the end okay and to consume it and to destroy it into the end and the kingdom and dominion okay rulership all right that's what the kingdom means Okay, a king's dominion or a king's domicile. Okay, it says, And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given unto the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Okay, that's that spiritual tabernacle that's going to be set up. Okay, under Yahweh Shai. And again, real quick. We've been mentioning it, but let's get Revelation 21, all right? As John saw this vision, Revelation 21 and 2, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, all right? That virgin, okay? New Jerusalem, all right? After we're beamed up and changed, we're eventually coming down to rule the earth, okay? That's New Jerusalem. OK, and we're going to return to the Garden of Eden under uh, the second Adam, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and, and, and do it the right way. We won't have these bodies that we have now. We'll have new bodies. We will never go off and we will do what we were intended to do. All right. Under the first Adam. OK. It says. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And we know that's the tabernacle of David. OK, but it's at this time it is a spiritual temple. OK, and he will dwell with them. OK, because at, at, at the center of David's uh, government was what? Jerusalem, the temple. That's why he wanted a temple built so that the Ark of the Covenant can be brought and so that we can have full commune with our power. OK, so the, 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 the tabernacle for the kingdom is going to be what? The men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. OK, that government. OK, and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. How is he going to dwell with us? Because the laws will be fully in us. All right. That's what the temple represented. OK, that's where he dwelled and we had a connection, commune with our power. Well, now he will dwell in us. OK, the 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 tabernacle that is with men, which is the throne of David. Now, this tabernacle is described as you as you go down. In Revelation 21 and 10, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descended from God out of heaven, having the glory unto God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone clear as crystal. All right. Just imagine how that looks. OK. And had a great wall high and had 12 gates. OK. And at the, at, the, at the gates, 12 angels and the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Yashar Allah. Okay? So this is the, the, the kingdom is for the Israelites, vocab. 
what does the book of Daniel, the second chapter say? The kingdom shall not be left to other people, all right, but it will be left to the saints. And we just read in Daniel, all right, the uh, seventh chapter, okay, that all of these particular kingdoms who are going to be taken down are going to obey and, and, and serve, all right, them, Yahweh Shai and the 144 and the rest of all the nation of Israel, okay? And that's the large multitude that comes after that. It says, and on the east three gates and on the north three gates and on the south three gates, as we're returned to Jerusalem, it's giving you a pattern of the new temple, the new Jerusalem that's going to be set up, okay? And it had, the wall of the city had 12 foundations and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb, showing you that the 12 apostles of the Lamb all right, are going to be at the forefront of this thing. Remember, he told them in Matthew, the 16th chapter, I believe, or Matthew, the 19th chapter, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. As a matter of fact, we have to get it. OK, let's get it. Let's not let's not run away from that one. OK. It should make you happy. Yeah, it's challenging because we're in this flesh and you may have a low expectation, but your expectation has to be high. All right. Stop being so scared of the, the, the truth of what the Bible is talking about. Matthew 19 and 20. This is what Yahweh Shai told Peter. All right. Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter. All right. And said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have there for? Okay. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, notice it's Peter asking this, the head disciple. Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit on the throne of his glory. Ye shall also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, setting things in order. OK, well, all, they'll also be at the forefront of purging out those rebels. <laughs> OK, but that's a whole nother lesson. All right, but setting the affairs of Israel in order will be given into the hands of that governing body, okay, which will be headed by the 12 apostles of the Lamb, okay? So ye who have followed me in the regeneration, all right, or reincarnation, which you will be given a whole nother body, okay? You're going to come back in your order, as we read in um, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, all right. And every man in his own order. OK, well, at the beginning of that order is the 12 apostles of the Lamb. And we know who the head disciple is. That's why it's the tabernacle of David. OK. Who returned through who? Peter. OK. Now. As you keep going, as it keeps describing this, this, this spiritual temple, this, this tabernacle of God that is with men. New Jerusalem, verse 16 says, and it lieth in the city, lieth four square. Um, and it's just describing it. I'll just get to the point, verse 17. And he measures the wall thereof, 140 and four cubits, according to the measure of a man that is of the angel. So who the, the 144 cubits are the 144,000. You see that? And at the head of that is the 12. Okay. So going back here to end it off, because we have more, but, you know, the point was made. OK, the keys of the kingdom of heaven, the key of David. OK, ultimately is authority, which that authority starts with this wisdom. Remember the 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 Greek word for keys. OK. All right. Is 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 metaphorically. All right. In the New Testament to denote power and authority of various kinds power and authority of various kinds to be able to open to be able to lock judgment your word being final and ultimately Yahweh Shai was given that of his father but he's going to share that with his people starting all right with the elect which is ultimately uh the 144,000 to 12 at the head of that and then eventually you have the large multitude man so hopefully y'all are edified on to the next Shalom.